NASA and SpaceX hit a major milestone this morning. For the first time in almost a decade, the space agency is close to being able to send its own astronauts into space without the Russians. Thanks in part to some help from the company founded by Tesla's Elon Musk. Here, ignition, lift off. The scene earlier this morning as the new Crew Dragon spacecraft blasted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida. It's the first American ship capable of carrying astronauts since the shuttle was scrapped in 2011. The U.S. has farmed out the building of its crew carrying spaceships to private companies. Elon Musk spoke at a news conference earlier. Here's what he had to say. A little emotionally exhausted because uh, uh, that was super stressful. but. Uh, it worked so far. We have to dock the station, we have to come back, uh, but as, so far it has worked. Docking with the space station is going to be, we'll be docking for the first time. Previously, we would go close to the space station and the arm would reach out and, and grab, um, in, drag, in case Dragon 1, and it would grab Dragon 1 and attach it to the space station. In this case, the spacecraft will fly on, literally fly on to the space station um, and attach itself. So um, that's certainly going to be, uh, you know, something new um, that we've never done before. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, speaking after the launch. Well, joining us for a closer look at all this is Ryan Marciniak. Now, he is an astronomer with Astronomy in Action, and he's kindly agreed to do, join us early on a, on a weekend. Thanks for joining us, sir. Let's talk about the significance of today's launch. Well, it's, it's been a, a really exciting night. It's uh, nice to wake up to on a Saturday morning. Uh, Crew Dragon is an opportunity for NASA, for Canada, for the rest of the world to have options in sending up astronauts. And, and the same is, is true for Russia. Now there's options for the Russian space industry to send up their astronauts to the ISS as well. And it's a, a big step in the right direction for future manned spaceflight. Well, let's talk about this. Future manned spaceflight as well as commercialized space industry travel. I mean, are we at the point now where we should be uh, uh, thinking about booking a flight in uh, five or ten years to do a little space tourism? We're definitely on the cusp of it. I mean, you still have to have a pretty uh, deep pocket in order to afford one of those flights, but I'd say maybe closer to 10, 15 years, we'll be starting to look at, at uh, getting you and I up there on the spacecraft for a nice little orbit of the Earth. Lovely. Can't wait. Uh, let's, yeah, uh, let's talk about the, a little more detail about what the capsule will be doing on this inaugural flight. Definitely. So it launched this morning just before 3 o'clock in the morning uh, Eastern Time. It's going to dock with the International Space Station tomorrow at about 6 a.m. where our Canadian astronaut David Saint-Jacques will be up there to receive it. Uh, although it doesn't need much much work from him, it's going to directly, as you heard Elon Musk say, it's going to directly uh, attach to the International Space Station with a new adapter. Uh, it'll stay there for about a week until uh, Friday, it'll head back down to the Earth, and that will be a real test as well of the uh, the landing system. They added a couple extra parachutes and some stronger boosters to ensure it gets down to the Earth safely. And then if all goes as well, which so far it has, it'll pave the way for actually sending astronauts on a test flight. You mentioned Elon Musk famously making his uh, fortune with PayPal, then moving on to Tesla, talk of the Hyperloop, and of course uh, SpaceX. So he seemed relieved as you say, looking forward uh, to the uh, safe return. But what's at stake for Elon Musk? Well, with any rocket launch, you, you've got literally a million moving parts. And if one of them fails, it can spell disaster for the entire launch. Uh, th this especially is a big step because we don't, uh, when we do want to get human beings back up to the ISS, you don't want a situation where we have Challenger, where we have Columbia. Those were tragedies, and we don't want a repeat of that. The, the number one priority is ensuring that humans can safely go into space and, and, and thrive and live. And there's a lot of research going on, not just uh, the, the engineering side with SpaceX, but the scientific side up on the International Space Station to get humans back up to the ISS, back to the moon, and eventually to Mars, as Elon Musk has been very vocal about. So if this mission is successful, then let's talk about, as you say, Mars and beyond. What, what's the next step in all of this? I think that the next step is, is the moon. We just, uh, Canada just announced that partnership uh, a couple days ago with NASA 
uh, to invest a huge amount of money to go back to the moon. That is the next step. NASA has made that a priority. Canada has has made that a priority. And it's really great to see Canada stepping up and being, being part of that. Uh, Crew Dragon is going to basically work with the International Space Station. Separately to that, Elon Musk has talked about his, star, his uh, Starship that's going to eventually go to Mars. And they were just testing uh, a couple of weeks ago some new rocket engines that are going to enable it to do all of the things that he said it can do. So for Canadians waking up this morning and maybe hearing this news for the first time, just how important is this launch that took place while they were sleeping? It's just an opportunity for human beings to do more in space, uh, especially Canada being a, a partner uh, with NASA on this, and especially with David Saint-Jacques up on the ISS. I, I can imagine how proud he is uh, watching this come up and looking at, at new ways to send human beings into space. Eventually, more Canadians as well. We have some new astronauts who I'm sure are really excited to get up to the ISS. And Crew Dragon is a great opportunity uh, for them to get up, up there sooner than later.